In this video, I'm going to show you how to get timecode into MA on PC using a MIDI loopback. I have actually done this basically for a lot of my show. As you can see, this is my touring file that I use all the time. I have done so far a European tour, American tour, some Asian and Australia shows as well. Still to this day, touring on it. So I wanna say probably about this much, maybe a little bit less of this file has been done using this loopback method. And saying that I did have to go back and clean up a little bit with a console, but it's it, it's a great option because I got COVID a couple of weeks prior to the show and I needed to time code a full lighting show along with video in a week and a half to two weeks while having COVID. So I sat in my room on PC and worked away. And this is how I got it done using MIDI time code. So we're gonna start off with the first thing that you're gonna need, which if we go to the internet and we write MIDI loop, we can see Tobias here has made a program that we can all use to control MIDI, audio, all this stuff. So if you wanna download that, and this is what it looks like. Currently I've got nothing there, but let's add a name and call it MA MIDI loop. Add it and now you're done with this program. You just leave it. If you hit the X, it will leave it still running. You can see it down the bottom here. The next thing you need is a door of your choice. The one that I use is Reaper. I don't use it as much anymore because I'm lucky enough to have a console most of the time. So I use for all my shows. So you know or have the reference, I use TC Supplies Show Control. Uh, and this is my file, so I just go out of this into LTC, but that's what I use, but I didn't at the start. So hopefully, you know, if you have this issue, this is what could be your solution. Our next step, once we've done that loop, we want to actually open up your choice of doors. I use Reaper. It's a very reasonable price. I've got the evaluation license of this computer because I don't use this computer for work stuff a lot of the time. I use a different one which has a business license on it, but it's very, very affordable. It's it's not like a lot of its competitors. It's It does everything that theirs does. Maybe strip back a little bit, but it's, it's a great program, so I highly recommend it. Here's Reaper. First thing you wanna do is you want to deal with your, your MIDI settings, your MIDI devices. So hit options and head to preferences. Let's go down to MIDI devices. And whenever a MIDI device is added to the computer, it will detect it and it will put it in. We don't need to worry about the input side of things because we're not inputting into Reaper, we're outputting. So you can see it here. Let's just right click that. All you need to do is go enable output. So now that's outputting from Reaper. We've got a, uh, a track here. So let's make this one our time code track. And let's add another tr um, track that we will call our audio file. Let's add ourselves time code. So you can go insert and simply make sure you have your right track selected, insert simply. And there you have it. Let's scroll back a bit because the song we're gonna do might be a couple of minutes long. So let's extend it, say to, let's go about five minutes. For anyone's reference that doesn't know what time code sounds like, it's shocking. So you don't wanna blow someone's eardrum off. So this is simply time code audio. I'll bring up the volume, shocking. So next step I would suggest before you blast your head off or blow your speakers, let's head into routing and disable the master send. And now you wanna choose that MIDI device that we had before, you wanna choose that in your MIDI hardware output. So in here you can see MA MIDI loop. Now you should hopefully see some signal being sent. That's perfect. All right, so our next step is we want to choose a song. So I might just quickly head over to my laptop here and choose a song. Let's choose, let's go Dreaming, Song Dreaming by Will Sparks. So let's let's choose that and my offset time that I've got. Sorry, if you double click this, you can see all this information. You can rename it, let's say to the song Dreaming. Let's go Properties. This is where you choose where you want to send LTC or MTC. So let's select MTC at 25 frames. And here's where you, where you set your uh, time code offset. So as I said before, two hours and 50 minutes is our offset. Hit apply and now that all that settings has been applied, let's just click play and see that we are sending it down a loop back. Cool, it's sending a load of data down MIDI time code. Perfect. Let's hit audio file and insert a media file. Go in and find your song, Dreaming. Let's have a listen. 
Should be able to hear that coming out. So now we're done with Reaper, let's minimize that. And we can start to deal with this side of things. Same with uh, networking. I highly suggest if you add a loopback, I would suggest go close a program and reopen it just so it resets itself and it reads that MIDI loop properly. Cool, talking to each other, let's just turn everything off. And now we want to actually receive the MIDI input. So on PC, I'll just give you a heads up as well, sorry. If you go into the network configure, MA network configuration, just for your reference under on PC, console physical hardware, it tells you what, what's what. So if we look here, we can see slot one is uh, SEMPTY, LTC in the back of the console, slot two is uh, currently set to MIDI timecode, which is what we're trying to achieve. So when you actually open clock, which you want to see your timecode source and your timecode, if you look here, it's slot one. So we can also see you have eight slots there. We want to focus on two. So you can just select slot two and it will select it there just for your reference. But on my timecode page, I've got the two slots there ready to go. So I can choose what I read from at shows. So that's a handy option or if I'm programming and they're testing some stuff on stage, I keep getting time code knocking me. I can just hit, hit MIDI and it will disable it. But we are running MIDI, so now it's selected as MIDI time code. If I click play currently, we're not receiving any time code and that's due to we don't have an actual input device set. So we wanna go and hit this yellow dot in the corner. Options, and this is where your MIDI options are. Right now, there is no MIDI device selected. So if we just select the MIDI device, MA MIDI loop, boom. MA is reading that MIDI coming in. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So now we are reading a time code source. Let's actually go see how it worked. So let's hit stop, track, click play. Let's have a slight listen. Minimize this. And the song is called Dreaming. So I look for Dreaming here and I, it triggers a macro uh, Dreaming jumps me to the page I want, and you can see time code looks like it's fairly in time there. Might just add a bit of offset just in case, just cause there is a little bit of offset when I'm using LTC. So let's just a bit of offset. Let's see how that goes. Here we go. We are receiving. Apologies, those lights are meant to be pointing at the DJ as a special, but that's okay. It's just for reference. Might just quickly just dim the lights down for the party. There's a video part here. We have time code. Seems a little bit off. So I might even be able to just uh, get rid of that. Let me make it full screen. And we are, we are now receiving time code from the great Reaper over MIDI and a loop back from Tobias and This is, we have video going in this part. There we go. You have time code to MA on PC. Um, again, as I was saying before, um, I have done this for music videos. I've done this actually for, um, playback at a football stadium for like a New Year's Day sort of time code. I, I sent it actually to multiple different devices like Pyro and a bunch of other things. So um, for their referencing of when things had to go. Um, and yeah, it works great. This whole show basically was time coded on, on PC. Uh, you, can, you can clean it up a little bit later on a console if you need to, but it's sweet. If you have any questions about what I've done, if I haven't explained something, please let me know. I hope you found this helpful for you. I look forward to hopefully giving you guys some more tips as we go and showing you along the way with um, my job and shows that I do. And hopefully 
I can bring you some exciting content. Thank you for watching. Hit like if you enjoyed this and um, see you in the next one.